Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Start of May, start off a new pens in use. This month, it's called That's Fishy. I'm going to give you a few minutes until we start the actual video part. Have a think about that. What do you think will be included in That's Fishy? So please join me now and let's jump in and take a look at these pens. Welcome down to the mat. So this month, I thought the name would be That's Fishy. And thank you to those people that did send in some suggestions for some pens and inks. I don't have any of those, but I'm going to go and look at getting them. And maybe they'll be in another video sometime later in the year. It's slightly disingenuous, the name of this month, because what I've done is I've decided that these are going to be all pens made by Narwhal. And yes, Narwhal swims in the oceans. It's not actually a fish though, it's a whale, so it's a mammal. But, you know, I'm being trying to be generous with my naming, so I thought, well, we'll leave it at that anyway. So let's take a look at the pens. So the first pen I'm going to look at is a Narwhal School Kill. This is in the Chromis Teal. Just going to slowly turn this around. It's a piston filling pen. I love the colours of this. You know, you've got browns, there's silvers, there's that gorgeous blues in there actually does remind me a little bit of the ocean, especially when you'd see some of the blue. I think it's quite a nice pen. See, so it's a piston filler. It's got a medium nib. One of the things I want to get from this month is I want to compare the nibs. Five of the pens have got an hour wall nib and I've got one from a different manufacturer. So that's going to be the interesting part this month is actually testing out and looking at the differences between the nibs. Let's take a look at writing with this. So we've got here a narwhal school kill. Helps if I can spell with a medium nib. This is a narwhal made nib. The ink is by Diamine. And it's Odineal. This is a nice dark coloured ink in this pen. With this ink, I've seen it exhibit different colours with different pens. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Let's look at our drying times. We go immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 Finally, one minute. After a minute, while well, that's still smudging ever so slightly, I'll do it for two minutes. After two minutes, I can still see the teeniest bit of smudging coming off. So as a pen and ink combo, this is actually fairly wet. One thing you'll notice, especially if you've been watching these videos for a few months, past few months, I've had some major issues with this paper when I've been doing my pens in use because it's been so dry. I think I fixed that and we're now back to what I would expect to see where we get some decent wetness coming through. I do like this pen. I'm not sure about the ink. I think the ink's a little bit on the dark side. What I may do, should this run out, I'm going to try a brown ink in here, I think. But I'll look at that when it happens. This is one of the beauties with it being a piston filler. It does hold a quite a large amount of ink. It's got this ink window. I don't know if you can see there. So this pen's been inked up with this ink for quite a while and it is running low, which is why I think it may run out. But anyway, this is the Narwhal School Kill with a Narwhal Medium Nib and Diamine O'Donnell. The next pen. Oh, and I can forget things, don't I? How much does it cost? I should have put that down. This cost me 84 Australian dollars. So not an inexpensive pen, but I think it's a good value pen. Pen number two. Well, it's another Narwhal School Kill. This time it's in Paul Peter Navy. So for me, I can see here blues, some yellows. Then these coppery tones. I think they're more copper than brown. Certainly there's a lot of orange coming out in that colour. 
Now I'll do make some pretty pens. I'll give them that. Other than that, this is virtually the same as a previous one, except for the nib. When I bought this, I bought it with a flex nib. I just did not get on with that flex nib. So what I've done is I've replaced that. And this is a Yoho nib in medium. I got this from Pen Chalet. The idea of this, I can now compare the school curl with the medium now wall against a school curl with a Yoho nib. It's going to be quite interesting. You know, both the same size, both medium. So it's these experiments. I like doing these. I like to be able to, to explore what the differences are. So we've got here a narwhal school kill. with a Yoho medium. Again, $84, but there was an extra $15 for the nib. The ink, it's another die mining. And this time it's nightshade. This ink was part of the 2021 ink vent calendar. It's a nice dark blue color. It's a nice color to write with. Let's look at drying times. Immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, at the moment, that does seem drier than that previous ink, doesn't it? One minute. After a minute, still smudging a little bit. I'm not going to go for two minutes this time though because you can see it's certainly a lot drier. One of the things I'm already seeing, that narwhal medium seems to be a wider medium than the Yoho one. So that's something I can follow up during the month. And yes, I know you could say, well, it's different inks, they're performing different. Yep, I would agree with you there. But if I use the same ink in every pen, I'd find it boring. And part of this is to keep it interesting. But anyway, this is the Narwhal School Kill with that Yoho medium nib. So we're staying with the Narwhal medium nibs. So again, this is where we're going to start to be able to compare them against each other. We've got now a Narwhal Key West in the Isla Mirada. And this is this gorgeous. I want to, It's a goldy colour with these sparkles in. It's a sparkly pen, I can tell you that for nothing. Just move this paper up a little bit. Just look at the sparkles coming off there. This is a cartridge converter. There we go. It's got a nice orange ink in it. And the ink I actually think is a nice colour match for the pen. As I said, it's another one with a narwhal medium nib. So we've got here a narwhal Key West with a medium nib and this cost me 66 Australian dollars. The ink is by Colorverse and it's called Martian. I love the name of this ink. I love the name of a lot of the Colorverse inks, especially those which are talking about the astronomical things. I think they're really unusual. If I fetch the pen in there, we can see there's a fairly good match between the ink color and the pen. I'd like to say this will be a combination I'll keep. I haven't got much of the Martian left. It's only an ink sample and I've used virtually all of it now. But it's still quite pretty. Dry times. There we go, that's immediate. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and finally, one minute. After one minute, nearly dry, slightest bit of smudging coming off. So as a combo, at the moment, this is the driest of the three we've looked at. In terms of the line width, this is closer to that Yoho medium than I'm seeing to the one that's in the school kill. So again, this is part of what I want to look at this month. It's looking at the differences between the narwhal nib. So this is 
the now all Key West Isla Marada with Colourverse Martian. We're staying with the Key West pens. Move this paper up while I fetch this pen in. There we go. This time, it's this gorgeous purple again. We've got silver and purple sparkles in that. This is the last Coloradus. Again, cartridge converter. This one, though, it's got a broad nib in it. So we're moving up in nib size. As I say, part of this month's aim is to compare them. So we have here a narwhal. Key West. With that broad nib. Now this was a limited edition, so it cost more. This was 75 Australian dollars. The ink is by Colt Pens actually made by Diamine, and it's called Little Pip. This is a nice purple colour. I'm not sure if we'll see it, but it does usually dry with a bit of a sheen. To me, that sheen at the moment is coming over black. On the camera where I see it, I'm seeing the gold of that sheen coming through there. I think it all depends, really, what angle you can see it in. I like the look of this ink. I think the ink in this pen, again, looks nice, especially when you're able to capture the sheen that comes through. Drying times, immediate, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, After a minute, again, tiniest bit of smudging still coming off, but more or less dry. So this is the Narwhal Key West with Cold Pen's Little Pip. Just moving the paper slightly, so hopefully we can get the last two pens on. There we go. We're now going to take a huge increase in price. It's going to more than double in price. The next one we've got is a Narwhal Nautilus. And hopefully I don't butcher this too much. Pelagia Noctiluca. Here we've got purples, we've got reds, we've got some of that greeny colour which was in that chromis teal. I love this Nautilus model. It's made of ebonite. The, others, the other pens, they were all resin. I love this here. I love these portals. To me, this is what makes it unusual. Now the portholes there, what they are is they're the ink window to see how much ink is left in there. I know you can't really see it over the camera, but it looks nice when it works. Again, it's a piston filler. This time the nib, we're going to a double broad or an extra broad. Again, I'm looking forward to experimenting and comparing the different nib width. Let's do some writing with this one. So we've got here a narwhal. Nautilus and this is a double broad price wise it's 196 Australian dollars as I say big jump in price the ink is by pure pens this is a Welsh company and it's St George's Cross Nice bright red ink. It does remind me of the St. George's Cross on the British Union Jack. Really nice, enjoyable colour. Nice bright red. Nice smooth pen as well at the moment. Let's look at drying times. This will be interesting with the double broad nib. So here we go. That's immediate. Just clean my finger off a little bit. This is a problem with doing this. I end up with mixed colours when I swipe. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. We're only getting a tiny smudge coming off here. Just for belts and braces, one minute. Yeah, as we expect after a minute, that's dry. So this is one which has surprised me a little bit. You know, it's the double broad nib, so it's the broadest nib we've looked at. 
it was also the fastest dryer. So again, that's something for me to experiment during the rest of the month. So this is the Narwhal Nautilus with Pure Pens St. George's Cross. The final pen for this month is actually the latest pen that I've actually received. And wow, is this a gorgeous looking pen. It's this. This is the 2021 365 Cano Crystals. And it's taken me four attempts to actually get that far with the name. So I'm going to leave it at that. This is Jonathan Brooks Primary Manipulation 3.5 material. Let's just turn this around. So in terms of shape, it's that Nautilus shape. We don't have the little circles for our ink window. We've got an actual ink window. I think that's down to the difference in material. This obviously is a resin material, whereas the Nautilus, that was ebonite. So chances are you can't put them circular windows into here. We've still got this ink window there. Let me just open it up slightly. There we go. I think this is one of the prettiest pens I own. I mean, we've got copper, purple, blues, greens, yellows. Virtually every colour, but red that I can see. I think it's really nice. The nib on here, it's now wall nib, and it's a medium. So again, I can compare that with the other medium nibs that I've got from Narwhal and also with that Yoho one. So it's all part of the same experiment. This is a Narwhal 2021-365. The nib is medium. This was the most expensive pen of the month, 241 Australian dollars. In here, surprisingly, I've got a dye mine ink. I do like my dye mine inks. And this one is ancient copper. I use this ink because to me, when I first got this pen, there's so much copper color there in that gorgeous resin. Do you know, it's hard to take your eyes off this resin. It's so pretty that I thought, well, let's use ancient copper. I do have the ink event copper colored ink. Problem is fill in this piston filler from that little bottle. So that's why I went for the ancient copper. Drying times, immediate, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, Almost dry at 30 seconds. Belt and braces, one minute. After a minute, yep, nice and dry. So this, this is the Narwhal 365 2021 edition Cano Crystals with Dye Mine Ancient Copper. Just going to switch over the view so you can take one last look at all the pens. So my pens for May of 2022. That's fishy. They're all made by Narwhal. We've got a school kill with Dymine O'Donnell. A school kill with Dymine Nightshade. A Key West with Colorverse Martian. A Key West with Cult Pens Little Pip. A Nautilus with Pure Pens St. George's Cross. And the 2021 365 with Diamine Ancient Copper. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts on Narwhal pens? Are there any which are your favourites? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart that conversation. I'd also be interested, what do you think that this month's results will be? Why don't you start predicting them now? And again, drop that comment down below. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.